right okay let's settle this once and for all there's so many etsy research tools being recommended out there which one do you want to get so the truth is that you don't need any of these tools to make money on etsy but if you're going to get one to help with your product research you don't need all of them you only need one at the very most and today i'll be telling you which one i think that is with proof so etsy sellers use these product research tools to give them an indication of how many sales or revenue a listing has made but these tools can't actually see how many sales a listing has made so only the seller and etsy the company can see that so they use like a combination of etsy's api and their own algorithms that the company has de developed to estimate sales data for specific listings now i can't tell you how they work because uh, those are company secrets but i can give you an indication of how accurate they are by comparing to real data and i've got some very interesting results not to spoil things but i do think that one tool is a pretty clear winner and I'll be revealing which one that is at the end. So I took some of my listings, I found the real data, most importantly, the number of uh, lifetime orders from the back end of my Etsy shop, which only I can access. And then I searched for these exact same listings in the full paid versions of these product research tools. I found those listings in Allura, Etsy Hunt, Everbee and Erank to compare which of these tools comes out on top when it comes to accuracy or if any of them are accurate at all. Now, just to be clear, this is about comparing product research tools. So tools that can use an algorithm to estimate the number of sales. Um, and there are some Etsy tools like, you know, Sales Samurai and Marmalade that focus on SEO and keywords, which obviously won't uh, be in this video. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. Uh, I do have affiliate links for them in the description if you want to get any of them and support me, I'd be very grateful for that. Um, and you'll know which one in due time, but no pressure. Uh, just letting you know that I'm not biased towards any particular company based on you know commissions or uh, relations or anything like that, okay? So I'm going to give you these three examples of how I've done this, and I'm going to be looking at the number of orders. Uh, the other numbers are really just for interest, so I'm not bothered about views at all because those probably are not accurate at all like i they don't even line up with google analytics um etsy probably calculates them a different way i'm not bothered about favorites or reviews either because that's you know public information that you can just scrape um and revenue i'm not bothered by because different tools decide to include the discount or not um so you know if you know the number of orders you can calculate that based on whether there's a discount or not so um, the thing that I am looking at is the number of orders because when you subscribe to these tools, that's what you're paying for. Um, you're paying for a calculation which is not public information and each of these tools has their own algorithm that's supposed to estimate this number. So we're comparing which one of those is most accurate, okay, just to be clear. So this is listing number one. We have um, 278 total orders and starting off with Allura, which estimates 118. So yeah, a bit off there. Next we have Etsy Hunt, which estimates 221, a little bit better. Next up is Everbee, which estimates 118. So same as Allura, very interesting. Um, next we have Erank, which estimates 120. So results in for listing one in joint third place, we have Allura and Everbee. In second place, we have E-Rank. And in first place, we have Etsy Hunt, which is the winner. So um, this was the first th listing that I actually looked at. And I was like, okay, surely Etsy Hunt is the best. But I took another random listing just to check. And I'm very glad that I did because it had me second guessing um, and you'll see why. So this second listing has just 44 orders, but it's not insignificant because 
um, it's actually made more revenue than the first listing because it's a more expensive, well, it's a physical product and that was a digital product. So I just wanted to see how well the tools picked up on that. Also, unlike the previous one, this one just started to take off in the past month or so, unlike that previous one that was you know, dying slowly. So starting with Allura, which thinks it's made 23 sales um, and it's picked up on the fact that it is trending as well. Etsy Hunt thinks it's made zero sales just seems like it's totally off the radar but um, i will explain what what i think happened there in a bit ever be surprisingly or not surprisingly same as allura 23 and e-rank gave it 18. so this time etsy hunt actually comes last e-rank is second again and ever be and allura are joint first so it's totally flipped around you're probably thinking what is going on, but I think this last example will finally clear things up. So listing number three now, which has 138 orders um, and Allura thinks it has 106. Etsy Hunt thinks it has 150 and Everbee thinks it has 106 and E-Rank thinks it has 90. So this time etsy hunt wins again but e-rank is last and ever be and allura are joint uh second in the middle so i'll agree that's not a very consistent or convincing set of results um which is why i went and did that again but for my top 10 best-selling listings um including those three that i just showed you across two shops and then i color coded the results and i think now you'll see a pretty clear pattern so uh, when I'm looking at listings with more than 100 sales like these, Etsy Hunt is the clear winner. E-Rank tends to be second and Allura and Everbee both come last in terms of accuracy for these um, listings with more sales. But for listings under 100 sales, it's literally all over the place. There's like no pattern that I can gain from that. So what conclusions can we draw from this? Well, I'll tell you what I think. So... I think that we, well, first of all, we can agree that Everbee and Allura probably have the same algorithm. So don't get both of them. Obviously, not that you were planning on doing that anyway. And number two, based on looking at uh, my best selling 10 listings, the most accurate tool is Etsy Hunt, but provided that the listing has more than 100 sales, it is absolutely terrible for picking up listings with uh, fewer. Um, sales even worse than e-rank and uh, allura which for me i don't really care about that because i want to know which ones are getting the hundreds and thousands of sales right anything with less than the 100 sales i don't really care about and also etsy hunt is actually the cheapest it gives you 10 free searches a day and then it's 3.99 a month i think i've got to check that but yeah i think it's 3.99 a month for unlimited searches so it's like a tenth of the price of the other tools so you save money and for listings with over 100 sales uh, which are really the winning listings that you want to be looking at anyway you get more accurate results so all in all the winner for me is definitely etsy hunt for now with a caveat you can find a link to it in my description but i did say that for now with a caveat because i do think uh i need more data you know my best selling listing has 278 sales ideally i want a listing in the thousands so i can properly check and compare um you know the more data the better but I might do another video once I get more sales of my top listings, but with the data that I do have at the moment, I'm pretty confident in saying that Etsy Hunt is the one that I would personally go for if I had a limited budget. So yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you get the same results as me um, and I will see you in the next video.